clouds rely on, on mainly natural rainfall, but it also relies on uh, irrigation when we don't get the rain at the appropriate time. From a quality point of view, having irrigation to even out the years and make sure we have consistent quality across years is great. But our practices need to be sustainable. We need to make sure that we're not overusing that resource so it's there for future generations to come. So for us to have the ability to monitor the water status of the vine, the soil moisture and control that to grow the best possible grape quality is extremely important. This soil profile illustrates what we're working with here. So we're working with, in this case, soil about half a metre, so that's where our roots are. And so we need to make sure that we apply enough water to effectively irrigate this without applying excessive water or, or not enough. At certain times of the year, this is wet enough, so we don't need to intervene. So if we've got technology telling us that there's actually enough water in here that we don't need to irrigate, that's very powerful. One of our main ways of monitoring soil moisture is capacitance probes, which log live information to us in the office, so we can see how effective an individual irrigation was, how deep the water penetrated, and we, and we know where our root system is, so we know how effective that was. And they simply work while we have a series of sensors. They project an electronic field, and depending on how much water is in the soil, depends on how easily that electronic field moves between sensors. And then from that, we can calculate how many millimetres of water is in 100 millimetres of soil and at a range of different depths. So very useful information and the fact that we can put out an irrigation and we can watch that water actually moving through the soil profile um, is extremely useful. The information is recorded constantly but it's actually uploaded to our computer every 15 minutes. So at any point in time we can log into the computer and um, check how the soil moisture status looks. The soil is really good in terms of giving us a holistic view but when we want to actually ask the vine how thirsty it is, we use a technology known as midday stem water potentials. So on a day like today, it's a little bit overcast. All the vines are happily transpiring, so they're cooling down by, I guess, sweating or transpiring. So we put a bag over the leaf to stop that process occurring. And then basically this leaf becomes in tune with the whole vine and we can get a, a good measure of, of how water stressed that vine is or how much irrigation we may need to apply. Typically I can have between sort of 12 and 24 of these bags throughout the vineyard and they're strategically positioned so that I'm covering off on all the, the variability within the vineyard. We have what's known as a Sholander pressure chamber or a pressure bomb as it's colloquially known and um, essentially you rip the bag off um, very quickly and we press compressed nitrogen into a cylinder and the amount of pressure required to force sap out of the, the top of the pediole is directly related to how water stress the vine is. I give this information to the vineyard managers and it gives them uh, I guess the opportunity to really refine their irrigation strategies. Nature is variable and we can't sort of just plant everything thinking that it will grow the same so we're trying to use our technology to help adapt our vineyard soils and plant the right rootstock so that we're maximising the environment and being more sustainable with our water use. I think the future is using things like aerial imagery so we can see the water status of the whole vineyard and how that's changing and the variability within the vineyard to enable us to irrigate different parts of the vineyard differently depending on the requirement and the soil type. Thank you.